I hope the audience will gain another view to black lives, black culture in general. Like it's not so much black as black and white or what you see in movie theaters. There's a lot of culture, a lot of like history. There's more than just slavery in our history and then civil rights. We are more than activists. We are artists, we are musicians, we are poets, we are educators, and so much more than what people perceive us to be. And I hope by looking at this, they will try to figure out where parts of our piece came from. And from there, they'll learn more about the culture and identity that goes into being a black person. My name is Kalicia Smith, and I'm a senior visual artist at Kappa. Our piece is supposed to represent culture and how we are more than what we're taught in schools. I feel like so much of black culture is left out in schools. It's not ta taught to the extent to everyone that it should be. I am Farouk Robinson, a senior visual artist at Kappa. The quote that we were taxed with was, we must live together as brothers or die together as fools. This piece, the obviously the first thing that people will probably see is like the flaming sword. So that sword is meant to symbolize the, the, like, the strength of Martin Luther King's words and the power that he had with his words. His words were his weapon and it's like a burning sword, like burning passion. Like he, he had like a, a passion for one to see change and seeing like the bigotry just die. And like he was using his words kind of as a weapon to kill that off. So I'm Shala, um, I'm a contemporary artist and a solo muralist. With the Overbook School for the Blind, yeah. that's magical, man. Cause um, what's magical about it is like blind people, I learned, can see, to just see different. They see with their ears, and they see what they're feeling, and they touch, and they have sort of this sensory perception. Okay, so what I had them do was I had them put joint compound, it's like a clay, on the side, and I told them to vision mountains. I'd make the textures of mountains, and they did it with their hands. And I just went by and detailed it and made it come out. So that's, that was, yeah, that was cool. Making art that matters is my life, you know? I like art that touches people and makes a difference. I don't like that makes a difference word. I like art that matters. You know what I mean? That moves people forward. I think that's our job, you know? I think our job is to inspire people to move society forward. And I think we did that, you know? I think that this particular project allows to bridge the generational gap. We have students who have come together to create a bus, memorializing the life of Dr. King, but also continue to carry on his legacy, which I believe is great. Uh, my name is Maria Stevens. I am the sculpture teacher in the visual arts department. And this was an amazing uh, project to work on. It really showed that, you know, our students, when given a professional task, just really hit the ground running with this. In the next week, they will be placed in different parts of the city. So I think them being open in the public is very important um, so that we can, of course, number one, commemorate and reflect and remember what Dr. King um, did for our culture, who he was in our community and as an American, and then also see um, by the artwork that he's still being honored and his issues and his philosophy and his beliefs are still being fought for today. Free